hi guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft a gong sleeve so from the top of my pattern i'll be taking the armhole measurement of the dress which is um, 9.5 divided by 2 i'll add um, 3 inches to it then i'll come over to this place here i'll be measuring the length of my gong sleeve which is 10, 9 i also added 2 inches extra for the damp part, measure your round sleeve. Your round sleeve divided by 2 plus 3 inches. This is what you do for this damp part. So right now, come over here. Then I'll measure 1 inch. I'll come down by 1 inch. That's what I just did. Then I will bring in my pattern master to just make a little curve from this pointed part here. So remember that my pattern is just one. When I'm cutting on my fabric, I'll be folding my fabric into two. So go ahead and make this curve the way I'm doing it. After making this curve, I'll go ahead to connect this part two with a curve. You can see what I just did. Please do yours the same. If you don't have a pattern master, use your free hand. And then I'll go ahead to also connect the um jump part in a straight line too that's what i just did i'm okay, go ahead to just connect it in a straight line guys i want you to know that this gong sleeve is factually different from the gong sleeve we usually do so i need you to pay attention and follow what i'm doing so right now i'll go ahead to cut out this pattern and cut it on my fabric and show you what it looks like So after cutting, this is what I have. And so I'll go ahead to use this fabric to cut it on. So guys, I'm done cutting. This is what I have here. I also cut my lining piece out. But this is, I cut two pieces for my fabric. And also cut two pieces of lining piece. And I also have my hard stay here. So this is how I cut out for the lining. I need you to pay attention. Look at what I'm doing here. This is how I did for the lining. Okay, first of all, this is how I cut out for the actual piece. You can see this unfold. And here is how I cut out the lining and the hard net. So I came down by 5.5 5 inches and folded it into two just like this. So what I have is 5.5 5 inches. Then I'll go ahead to cut out what I have here like this for my lining and hard net. Sorry, hard stay. I'll go ahead to cut it like this for my hard stay and my lining i hope you understand what i'm saying this is the way you're going to be cutting it out so guys i'm gonna have to iron my hard stay on my lining you can see the piece i have you can see it's not long enough i mean it's not wide enough but it's long so this is the piece i have also I left 0 0.5 inches i'm around and here is the actual piece here you can see what i have you can see the way it looks like and then I'm going to bring in my lining piece. Just look at the way my lining piece is. I left 0 0.5 inches. You no, know I mean, I just left a little bit allowance at the side and also at the down part here. Remember, we added 2 inches to the down part of this, of the actual piece. So you go ahead and fold in that 2 inches. Just that's what I'm trying to show you. So, guys, I'll go ahead to sew this and come back and show what it looks like. So, guys, I went ahead to i'm drawing my lining you can see what i have here i've joined it actually i'm going to show you here this part is the paper part it should be inside while this part has the lining should be at the top so that it, it does not hurt when you are wearing it then you will go ahead and just join it around the side you can see the way i joined it just join it around it's very simple then go ahead and fold this place in like this look at what i'm doing fold this in and then run a stitch that's what you should do here you do what you are doing here, you also do it for the other sleeve if you look at the picture very well you see the way the gong sleeve is you'll be seeing it very well that there is no um, lining that much so here you fold it into two for you to get your cutters fold it into two and give it a notch just like what i just did then you need, remember you added um three inches in this dress so it will be having six inches so you place your tape pro at the middle you can still do one place in the quarter that two inches so you go ahead to just make a cutter here so look at the way i'm trying to make a cutter here 
So go ahead and make a gather. So what we'll still have remaining after taking it four inches, we'll be having up to like two more inches remaining. So go ahead to uh, measure another one inch and gather it. And you only need to have only um one inch um sewing allowance. So I'll go and join it and come back and show you. So guys, this is it. I'm gonna need to join it four inches here. I'm gonna need to cut up four inches for the puff here. So this is the inside. This is what it looks like. And the remaining one inch, I'll be using it to make uh, to join these two together. You can see. So right now, I'm trying to measure it to know if it still matches with my armhole. So I'll be removing that one inch. This is what I'm trying to do. Remove the one inch allowance you have. Then measure it if it still matches with your armhole. But if there is more allowance to it, you can just get, try to gather in that allowance. Hope you understand what I'm saying. So my armhole is this is 19 I'm having here, which is for the armhole of the dress, and I have one inch extra for my joining here. Hope you understand what I'm saying. The six inches I'm talking about. Remember we added three inches to the pattern when we were cutting. So when the pattern is on fold now, the pattern is a cut out on fold, then we should be having six inches. When we added three inches for the pattern when we were drafting it so when i folded the pattern it the fabric into two i'll be having six inches and that's the um, inches that we are using to make our gathers you use four inches to make your gathers and the remaining inches you'll be using it to join your sleeve so guys this is what mine is looking like after joining you can see what i have here this is my gong sleeve this gong sleeve is actually different from all the gong sleeve we have you can see if you look at the picture very well you see that the sleeve is very different so i'll bring in my main fabric here which is the main piece of this sleeve i'll be joining this is the way you should go ahead and join it make sure that this gather place is in between is in the shoulder part of this dress then you just go ahead to keep sewing you can see the way they are matching and keep sewing it matching it together till you finish sewing it so this is the way you should join it and the other sleeve too this is what it should look like after joining then your dress is ready so i'll go ahead to join this offline if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe put on the notification bell then um, comment tell me what you think about this special gong sleeve see you in my next video bye